on most islands off the coast of Thailand, you can find at least one bar that will serve you a shroom shake, which is pretty much just ice, bananas, and magic mushrooms thrown in a blender. I found myself at one such establishment back in April looking for refreshments. After going crush mode on a shroom shake and meeting the bartender Scorpion that he used for drinking games, I headed out on my motorbike looking forward to a full day of reconnecting with nature and spiritual exploration. This is my shroom log. The first stop of my journey was at a roadside restaurant whose owner had a pet elephant. What's her name? Dang. Named Dang. Despite looking ancient, Dang was actually younger than my boss. How old? 40. 40? Yeah. He's younger than Portnoy. One can only imagine what Dave would look like these days if he had never gotten rich. After feeding Dang like eight pineapples, I headed back on the road. My next quest was to rent a kayak and search for the mystical monkeys of the mangrove swamps. There were no primates in sight. However, I did find a dilapidated old party boat that I coined the Dirty Mango. The Dirty Mango used to be chatted for swamp tours, but got shut down by the government when a couple people impaled themselves on rusty nails and got tetanus. Mix in a vaccine, buddy! You should have seen the Dirty Mango during its heyday. This thing used to rock. It's definitely seen better days, though. I mean, it was pretty much a death trap since day one. So it's probably a good thing the government Put the kibosh on it. Great place to sip shrimp shakes though. I had to remind myself that I didn't come all this way to make up boat facts about a rickety piece of shit that could go titanic on me at any moment. So after that little detour, I went right back on monkey watch. Then, all of a sudden, like some type of fucking tree spirits, the monkeys emerged. Majestic little fuckers. Unfortunately though, I had forgot to bring them a sacrificial offering. And once they realized this, they decided to commandeer my boat to make sure I wasn't holding out on them. Dude. <laughs> it was a profoundly traumatic experience. But I wasn't ready to head in quite yet. I was having a transcendental moment, whatever the fuck that means. But then one of the male monkeys went all Harvey Weinstein on some lady monkey. He definitely just me too, that other monkey. I was not okay. And it kind of killed any zen-like vibes I was feeling. I decided to head back to dry land before that same monkey tried to me too, me too. Back on shore, I watched the ball of fire we call our sun dip slowly below the horizon as children emerge from the darkness to play with balls of fire of their own. What are these kids, like six? How hard could this be? Needless to say, I was a natural. As I danced with the flames, I reflected on my day. The shrooms definitely added a bit of spice, but you know what? That shit probably would have been just as fun sober. Oh, and by the way, shrooms aren't technically legal in Thailand, so if you're gonna indulge, trip balls responsible. 